Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Mama's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have low subscribers and low views as well as talented artists from around the world. Now once again, I have no idea or the reason why they have low subscribers or low views but I'm going to bring it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now today I'm going to do my best to upload about three reactions and I will let you know on these particular artists as I'm going along. So my second reaction of today is going to be from a lovely artist called Jem and this song is called Missing You and I believe it's called Missing You. Uh, yes, it's called Missing You. I had to double check that one. Um, I haven't reacted to Jem so this is going to be my first reaction um, of her and I'm hoping that I can put her into the bunch of the amazing artists that's coming over into that direction. And But I, there's nothing for me to say about her so i'm i'm absolutely looking for you guys to it for to let me know more information on this particular artist i hope that this is going to be an artist that i'm i'm going to uh, be able to love and do more reactions but it all depends on this particular song so i hope i'm going to be pleasantly surprised anyway that's going to be my next reaction but before that if this is your first time coming over to my channel then please go over to my homepage and work your way from the bottom all the way up to the top because there's some fantastic amazing artists which i do not want you to miss out on and i'm talking about amazing artists with low subscribers and low views but also many into the bunch is established artists with high subscribers and high views and i would love you to do a comparison and then come to the realization that these particular artists with low subscribers and no views are equally as good as any top list a-list artists out there and i promise you you will not dis be disappointed so please go into my homepage. i've broken it down to various categories and remember once you go into those categories whether it be r&b hip-hop indie um soul heavy metal rock remember it's artists from around the world both established and non-established artists now before i go into my reaction i'm going to read a couple of your comments and give a number of shout outs so john roach good morning peter um Stadelmer, good morning how you doing gert westland good morning how you doing if you tear up um, <laughs> i wasn't um he was talking about um angelina jordan where she is 15 but she's done about say 150 different kind of covers of, and she started from the age of eight and from the age of eight to about 10 she sings some songs that will just make any adult cry please check her out angelina jordan uh, i'll leave all the details david foster good morning how you doing uh let's go down um dean Yo yoho good morning how you doing he said, Angela doesn't try to emulate the original artist. She comes close, but she tends to make her the song her own for tribute to our great Whitney Houston. This was absolutely beautiful. I think Whitney Houston would be proud of her when she's carrying out this, um, coming out this tribute. This is, uh, like I said, Angelina um, Jordan. She done a song when she was about, say, 12 year old on I Have Nothing, and she executed that in a perfect way. She really did. John R., good morning. How you doing, mate? Um, is it Jolly Joe? Um, Jolly Joe, good morning. I hope I'm saying your name right. Anyway, look, let's go straight into my second reaction of today. So this is Jem and the song is called Missing You. You know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you take it? <laughs> Like already. Boy meets girl kind of song. So I'm gonna stop it there. It felt like a um, what's that song? Don't let go. Na, 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 na. I'm da, na, 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 na. I don't know what that, that song is called. I, I remember the melody, but it reminds me of um, that song straight away. And even though she is not singing, there is subtitles number one. Um, but 
you can tell by the visual this is a simple boys meets girl or girl fancies boy, but boys fancy girl. You know, I watch you, um, you watch me, uh, and then I think in the end they might have a date or she might be mag imagining how th how life will be with you. You know that kind of thing. That's what I'm getting straight away in the first 30 seconds. I could be wrong. We'll see. Let's go back just a little bit. Let's go back just a little bit. You never see an ugly boy though, would you? <laughs> She's beautiful, number one. I love the vocals. Very kind of soft and gentle. So like I said, it's that, you know, boy meets girl, girl meets boy. And they haven't, it looks like they haven't spoken for the first time. But you know, it's always that, you know, when you are... Uh, I don't know if you are if you work in a shop and you see that same person every morning at this particular time, you know, uh, it always goes by and you know it. First of all, it just goes by and just a little smile. Maybe second second time it might be a little wave, and then eventually they might pluck up the courage to actually go in and speak to each other. Um, that can take ages depending on them, or that can take a few days, but. I think it's, this is a thing that, you know, loving and witnessing the journey of two people that are destined to be with each other, but not yet started um, to be with each other yet. So it's all, I think we, in the, uh, over England, we call it the honeymoon period. <laughs> Let's go back just a little bit. Let's go back just a little bit. <laughs> She loves the clumsy things he, d he does. Now he's plucked up the courage to go in. He's going to say it's for his mum. <laughs> Mother's Day or something. Oh, the plant. All right, so he's a photographer and she's a florist or a, a, a flower arranger. Is that a florist? So, okay. So now you see both of the professions and he's sort of like hovering around in the shop or hovering around out the shop uh, taking photos. I suspect that they're going to do something very clumsy when they bump into each other and they're very, very close and she looks at him and he looks at her, you know, that kind of thing. But it's very, a nice little romantic novel kind of that, that's been, um, that I'm watching right now. I like the smiley face on the card. And I love the calendar bit. You see in the little corner, there's a calendar of like Tuesday, this happened, Thursday, this happened. Going back just a little bit, going back just a little bit. See, I look at you, you look at me. When are they going to get closer? Come on. <laughs> it's very catchy. You almost want to say to him, Look, man, there's this girl. She fancies you. Go up to her and say hello. <laughs> but you never know. She, he might already have a girlfriend. <laughs> so she hasn't asked, has she? All she's doing is seeing him in his profession. She doesn't know what, she, what he does outside of that. Um, so, so she might just get turned away. <laughs> you never know. But I hope not because this is a... Uh, do you know what I, I like about this? That I'm following the video um and there's a storyline to it that's what i'm liking about it and it's a clear storyline to it as well that everybody can relate to and i think that's the reason why so much people can as well as her being an absolutely amazing artist but she's putting out some lovely songs that everybody can relate to and follow and say ah oh, you know 
I wish that could happen to me or that has happened to me or you know that kind of feeling so I like the what she's portraying on the video I really do but this guy for me is getting on my nerves because he should be look how many times is, has she sort of like given him signals of look I like you come on be a man ask her out or something Was he looking at the fishes or was he looking at her? Look, nice to meet you. So now he's not here. She's beautiful. It's that part I'm talking about. I thought that was gonna go on to him and that was him actually getting married and that's why he needs the flowers and all that that will be a massive turn if that was him and he's you know he's only round there to arrange the flowers for he to get the flowers for his for his wedding which is strange because normally you find I'm not being sexist but normally it's not the man that does the you know, um, the, the flower elements into the, um, the wedding. I'm talking about as in buying and, you know, arranging that, okay, I would do the flower parts, you do that part. And, you know, you know what I'm talking about? That is a massive twist if that is, a, if that is him and he's getting married. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's not even funny. It's not. It's heartbreaking. I'm going to go back just a little bit, just a little bit. Get away from the fishes. Uh -oh. <laughs> Okay. And that's all the pictures, no doubt, that he's been taking off her. That shows her in a beautiful light. There you go. He only takes a picture, it doesn't mean to run after him. <laughs> Come on, say something. Thank you. So that was Gem with Missing You. And to be fair, I didn't see the part of where the missing you was. So maybe can can you guys um, fill me in on that? Because the video itself. It was, for me, it was like a boy meets girl for the first time. They're not going at each other. They always, you know, they always, um, their paths are always crossing somewhat, whether it be uh, professional terms or just going out because they're local to each other. And where was the part of, I was missing you? Is it a case of that he was there, you know, every day she would see him and then like for the last, say, a week or so, didn't see him at all? And then all of a sudden he's dropped and left the card with all the photos in there. And it's like, oh my gosh, I've got to find this guy because this guy is the one for me. But it's like, why is she doing the moves? Why is she doing the chasing? Why isn't he doing the, you know, going up to... Yes, he did have flowers for her in the end. But she works in a flower shop. Why are you giving her flowers for? <laughs> Give her chocolates or something. Take her out or something. Uh, that's me just looking at the visuals and and feeling comfort by the lovely soft voice that she's that surrounded the visuals uh, visuals as well i would definitely go back and put the subtitles on and get a better scope of this music video by all means please put on the subtitles if you want to understand it uh, or by all means go to the original uh youtube page channel i'll always leave the details underneath for you to check for you guys to check it out so please check her out as well as a uh, um, catalogue of music as well. It, like I said, there was so, I can't remember, I think it was Ben Arthur or something like that. Um, I said, don't let go. And, da, na, na, na. and it was a guitar song. I can't remember the, 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 the lyrics of it. All I remember is that part. And that's what um, had, that's what reminded me. I'm not saying it sounded like or anything like that, but 
the I think my brain went into overdrive and said, okay, to find a comparison. And straight away, it found something that was similar, something that I can relate to. So that was a pleasant um, zone that it put me in. But all round, I love this song. All round, it gave me a lovely thing to watch. It was almost like I was watching a, a short film, so to speak. So that was nice. I always like a story to, a, a storyline to a, a music video, which you don't normally always get. I mean, it depends on what country you go to. But all round, it was lovely. It was it gave me this kind of um, you know this relatable and um, relatable uh, something that always happens to somebody. You know that's what I said about it is um, relatable. It didn't feel fake to me. It felt very very real, um, and I love that about it. And uh, even though it took me a while actually to be fair. That I'm not used to over the Western world. When you when you get an artist on doing a music video, you see them singing, and it took me back where it, you know it threw me back a bit when I was wrapped into a music video and not actually seeing the artist sing, but actually doing a portraying the video, being part of the music video, and I thought, wow, that isn't that fantastic. I've never seen that before, but now I'm getting used to it and getting accustomed to it, um, and you only get that from when you go to various places around the world and you see the difference of amazing um, music, the similarities in music, similarities in um, uh, in somewhat the sounds, but you also see a massive difference as well here and there, and and it's lovely to pick up on that and express that to and put it onto my channel for you guys to see. So I hope you enjoy Jim and this particular track missing you I would like I said I'll leave all the details down below please check her out she is from what I see absolutely amazing I will definitely 100% look into um, reacting more of her songs I might go back and find out um, her first song was she in a girl band you know all these different kind of questions please fill in the dot um, the blanks for me but for now Jim absolutely a Jim <laughs> and for that reason I salute you brilliant Say I'm